are back, YouTube Nation. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a good day out there. So look, um, got some news about the truck. I know we said it was a lot that we were gonna be getting done, but things have changed and I will not be doing all of the work. I'm actually going to drop it off on Thursday. Yes, yes, Thursday. I'm dropping it off on Thursday and they're gonna do the oil pan gasket, the O-ring on the pickup too, and uh, one of the wheel hubs for me because uh, it's just getting too hot out here and I just, I don't wanna do it in this heat. I love you. I love making the content. Love you guys for all the support and all of that, but it's too hot. I just can't do it. Today is a good day, so we are going to do something else, which is not all that hard to do, hopefully. It's something we've never done on the channel before, but we're definitely going to try and do it, and that is... Okay. Get this thing together so it is one big puzzle and it pretty much looks like we just have to put it all back together so we are going to move this thing out of the way and then we're going to pull this up and hopefully we can use that car as a reference i mean they're different but the same different but the same you get what i'm saying so yeah Comment down below. Let me know uh, if you think we can get it done. Let me know how y'all day is going. Uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. You know, it's a lot of the content coming y'all way. Uh, all my old subscribers, y'all know what's about to happen. We're going to get these cars moved, get this one into the uh, into the shop, so to speak. And then we just going to get it moving from there. So I will see y'all in a few. Let's go ahead and give y'all a cold start. One car down, one car to go. Uh, let's get a cold start on this thing. Uh oh. Well, guys, looks like the battery's dead. So let's do this. It's just putting this kit together and making sure how co coincidental that I need it right now. <laughs> Handy daddy kit. Put it together. All right. Sorry, y'all. I'll try to do this with my hand. no idea why I bought this car this is just stupid huh just stupid so let me go ahead and just state the obvious yes I know I brought a car I bought a car with no front end attached to it now when I seen it on the auction block when I seen it on the auction block itself I seen in the pictures that you know this was off to the side I didn't know everything you know was there far as the lights and you know all of that so uh, it's actually more inside the car so we'll pull and lay all of that out and then so everyone can see exactly what's all here and then you know if we don't get into it today tomorrow we will start to put this all together I'm on a short time limit but I know I have to keep the content coming for you guys so we're going to try to see what we can get done today do not be mad at me if we don't but this is a whole series of getting this car all the way back together so we're going to pull this stuff out so you guys can see and then uh we'll go from there stay tuned It's 
no check engine lights but the battery in this thing is shot you try to put it in drive and go anywhere or anything it just dies out so I think you might need some water in the battery the distilled water if you know that trick if you don't then i will show you but let's go ahead and give you a rev or two yeah it's missing a little bit i think it's because the battery is so weak as soon as i turn it off and turn it, try to turn it back on i don't even think it'll work so let's try it and see oh I guess I was wrong. Well, <clears throat> maybe I just needed to let it charge for a little bit. But the traction light is on. I don't know how to turn that off, so I need to figure out where that's at. Uh, wonder if that's something to do with one of the wheels, or so I don't see a traction button anywhere. So, uh, yeah, this is the inside of it. It's a little dirty. I had it uh, open the other day and forgot to shut the window. So, we got a little dusty in here. We'll clean it all out. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. But before we do that, let's uh, shut this window while we got power. All right, so starting it off. We have the front shield that goes under the bumper right here. The grill insert right there that goes inside the bumper. I don't know where the emblem is for the actual Mazda sign. We have the piece that the radiator sits in right there. That goes inside of the bumper, and then that is the actual support beam. And I did notice something when I took this out, which is probably why this car was at Copart in the first place. Look at that right there. Nice big crack right down the middle. So wherever it was hit, it was dented in right here. And uh, so we're gonna try to have to find one of these pieces, hopefully we can. Uh, and then yeah, um, I'm not sure if these two right here are bent. It looks the same way on the other side So I'm thinking it kind of goes like that because the curvature of The grill and everything of that nature. So I believe we are good As I stated before We have both lights and they look to be in good condition. They aren't broken or anything like that you have that piece, not sure where that actually goes. I think it may go on the bottom uh, grill portion. Um, yeah, so that's everything. You see we have all the nuts and screws. Nuts, bolts, and screws that goes to the car. I feel as though this is might be everything for the front end. I've seen some have some blue paint on them. Like this one here. See, it has that blue paint on it, so I feel as though it might go here. Maybe. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try it again. Feels like it could go here. Uh-oh, okay. Oh yeah. All right, so yeah, we in there. So we know what these bolts look like. Go on the side right there and over there. But uh, so yeah, man, it's not too bad. All right, guys, so look. Um, kind of sucks. I was hoping that we could just put it back together and everything would be fine, but it's not gonna work that way. Whatever they hit, they hit hard. All that that's pushed in right there and that piece is split, you know, so wouldn't say a head-on collision, but they hit something pretty hard to where you could bend it, because this is pretty hard metal right there that's not no regular aluminum that's you know some pretty decent metal right there for you to bend that you must have been I wouldn't say going fast but you hit something at a decent 
amount of speed, you know, something that was solid, and it did that. So now we are on the hunt for that piece. So we're gonna do some search, some research, see what we can find, because I think that's pretty much it. If we can get that piece done, then we can get the rest. If we can get that piece found, then we can get the rest of the car put back together, because it's just the front of the car. You know, it's not too much. So if we could just get this piece right here found within the next week, hopefully less than a week, we should be good. But you know, at Les Fest is this weekend, you know, out in Vegas. I'm not sure if anybody is, uh, you know, going to LS Fest, but I more than likely will be in attendance at LS Fest. So if you're there, you watch the channel, you know, and you out there having a good time, you see your boy out there, you know, make sure you say what's up, man. You know, I'll be out there vlogging, you know, so I might put you in the vlog or something. But yes, I'm taking the truck. I'm not doing anything in the truck, so I don't think you're about to see me in any events. But, you know, it'd be cool to take the truck. I mean, you know, it's a nice little something, something, you know, with them drilled and slotted boys in there. You know, that's a good look. So, you know, we may take the truck out there. Oh, we are going to take the truck out there, but we're not going to do any, um, we're not going to do any kind of events or anything like that. Just clean it up real nice, try to hit it with a light little buff or something like that, you know. But yeah, the truck is definitely going to be out there. That's why we're sending it to the shop on Thursday, because I don't want to take too much time getting it done. So we're gonna send it to the shop on Thursday, probably Friday or Saturday, we hit the road, we'll be out there at LS Fest. So, you know, if you gonna be participating in LS Fest, let me know what you are gonna be driving so I know what to look out for, you know? Comment down below, let me know what's going on. What your, what's your plans for LS Fest? Are you even familiar with what LS Fest is? If you're not, then, you know, look it up. Tell me if you're interested or not, come back and reply, you know, something like that. But yeah, man, definitely gonna be there. It should be fun, you know, so yeah, definitely can't wait. But uh, that's probably gonna be it for this video. That's gonna be part one of this because we have to find that bracket now. So we start looking for that and then uh, hopefully we can get that uh, done in the next couple of days. Hopefully we can get it done before this weekend. If we get it done before this weekend, I'm driving this to Vegas, period. That's just what it is. We get this done before the weekend. I'm dry this to Vegas. That's what it is. That's on that bombshell. Your boy is out.